And we begin tonight with Omarosa's secret recording and the new salvo in the war between President Trump and his former White House aide. Omarosa today releasing the recording she says was made in the Situation Room, claiming it's from the moment she was fired by Chief of Staff John Kelly. She goes on to claim Kelly threatened her, telling her not to make trouble about being fired. Omarosa also doubling down on claims she heard audio of the president using the N-word. The White House launching a full counterattack. ABC's Tara Palmieri leads us off. Tonight, Omarosa unveiling what she says are secret recordings she made inside the White House Situation Room when Chief of Staff John Kelly fired her. I think it's important to understand that if we make this a friendly departure, um, we can all be, you know, you can look at, look at your time here in, in uh, the White House as a year of service to the nation. Omarosa saying she felt threatened by Kelly during the closed door meeting. And then you can go on without any type of uh, difficulty in the future relative to your reputation. Because this is a White House where everybody lies. The president lies to the American people. In the former reality star's new book titled Unhinged, the Washington Post reports she calls President Trump a, quote, racist, misogynist, and bigot. The White House firing back, saying the book is, quote, riddled with lies. President Trump responding for the first time this weekend. Low life. She's a low life. In the book, Omarosa claims three people told her about a recording of the president saying the N-word on the set of The Apprentice. But she wrote she never heard it herself. Although the existence of such tape has never been proven, Omarosa claims she has now heard the recording. Once I heard it for myself, it was confirmed what I feared the most, that he is truly a racist. Omarosa says by the time she heard it, it was too late to update the book. After I closed the book, I had an opportunity to go out in Los Angeles and sit down with the person who actually has a copy of the tape. And I heard his voice as clear as you and I are sitting. You Counselor to the president, Kellyanne Conway, asking why Omarosa never spoke up about these accusations while she worked at the White House. But why didn't she tell us at the time? Why not tell ABC News the day after she was fired that that is in fact what she witnessed? In fact, after she was fired, she told ABC News this. I would never sit nor work for someone who I believe to be a racist. Now, Omarosa blaming herself for her role in the administration. I was complicit with this White House deceiving this nation. They continue to deceive this nation. By and Tara Palmieri is in New Jersey with the president tonight. Tara, I understand you've just spoken to your sources and they're giving you some new information. The White House is looking into legal options to take against Omarosa? That's right, Tom. They're looking into options not just to punish her for secretly recording the Situation Room, but also to stop her from releasing future recordings. Sarah Sanders said in a statement that she showed a blatant disregard for national security and a lack of character and integrity. Tom? Tara Palmieri with that new reporting tonight. Tara, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.